dude, hero conditions. So Whew. Whew. Oh, this feels great. Yeah. All right, well, here we are, Just driving north, and we're headed to Burnt Mountain. Full disclosure, it's been a long time since I've made one of these, so bear with me. Woke up around 3.30, made some coffee, let the dogs out. What, did you sleep well? Oh, just the dusting. Thought we were gonna get more. No fiddle, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, on your bed. skin Eastberg with my buddy Ian Boswell. Um, I'd like to think that I'm responsible for getting Ian into skiing, but I'll let him elaborate on that himself. Ooh, that way. We were texting last night and it's like, all right, well, if we're gonna do this, we might as well try and get a lot of vert. So the goal is three laps before they open the lifts at around nine. So we'll get there around six. It's about 45 minutes to an hour per lap. We'll see if we can do it. And hopefully this is the start of some more consistent snowfall this winter because touring, backcountry skiing, skiing in general is one of my favorite sports. Um, and there's only so much you can ride and run throughout the year. So, I'm yearning to earn some turns. Tell, tell it till you're smelly. Dust on crotch. Oh, there he is. Do you know what you're doing, Abe? <laughs> Put this thing on, pull this up. Dude, ISO is cranked. How you feeling, buddy? Oh, happy to be out here. I'm saying, I think for me, skiing's like my weight training. I was out here the other day, and my quads are burning. Not from the uphill, for the downhill. Yeah, that eccentric load. Yeah, like being like bent knee and trying to not crash. But, I'm sure it's fun, I've been waiting all winter for this. We're like tortured captives in a arctic jungle that never snows. Semi winter. <laughs> yes. We're just in purgatory. I love how we got two and a half inches of heavy snow. We're like, hey, let's wake up at 3 a.m. and do three laps. We got the lift to the top on the snowmobile. Not fair. We made it to the top. I think we're a little behind schedule if you want to do three laps before they open the lifts, but I think we'll uh, we'll try and do it regardless. Flexibility. Oh, this feels great. I know. Legs are on fire. 
right? Everyone knocks downhill skiing, but it's actually super hard. What's the funny thing, Ian? Something thing about backcountry skiing is, well, especially here, there is no way I would ever just walk up this hill. I don't know what it is about walking with skis. Maybe it makes walking more fun. Maybe you do go slightly faster. Or, you know you can do that on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say the equivalent is, like, effort-wise on a bike? Well, I guess that's the thing. You can make this as hard as you want. Like, I've done laps on work, like, straight up Willoughby. I guess maybe this route, we'll go straight up this face. And you can reach a max heart rate pretty easily. But likewise, it's similar to like a ride with buddies. You can still have a conversation and go at like a pace where you're laboring, but also working. I know. Dude, I forgot how hard it is to film while keeping up with people. <laughs> Condition report. There's a nice four inches of fluff on top of Hero Corduroy. And the sun is barely starting to come up. We're on lap two. We will check in at the top. If I can keep up with this maniac. Have fun guys. Good <laughs> on the deer run super highway. Uh, what do we got now? Three. How many casualties? Five, six. We're gonna pass these people. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, excuse I think. Where's Dan? I thought you wanted to harvest the vert. Top. Two. Eee! Should we go for a fourth? Yeah, here. It's like. Yeah, four. Let's go louder. My glasses fogged up. <laughs> Yee -hee! Yee! Oh yeah. Dude, I'm sick. Oh, good. I know. Well, it's addicting because we're so deprived. <laughs> Save us tomorrow. I think I could do like six laps before I'd bonk. <laughs> Conditions continue to improve. Visibility is perfectly adequate. Ian Boswell's bonking, and I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm downhill bonking. <laughs> Uphill is like in my wheelhouse. I feel like it's pretty much just like cardio. Going down this last run, I did take a full breather at the bottom because my legs are just doing like, they're like tremors. I'm just my knees are just doing this from skiing because I didn't get so much. It's that eccentric load. Low, yeah, and you don't get any of that cycling. Like, funny how doing another sport makes you really appreciate the sport that you're focused on because you're you come to it with a fresh this guy's a good skier look at this guy yeah dude senders senders it's a wee bit toy <laughs> three laps you got gingeritis <laughs> Tell us about low angle lifestyle. What, the, what does low angle lifestyle mean? Uh, this actually is low angle lifestyle. 
rather than chasing the snow and going out west on some big epic adventure, <laughs> it's being content with four inches of wet snow <laughs> on a two minute downhill run <laughs> and loving it. Woo! Howdy. What do you think? I, that was, dude, that <laughs> nicer run than left. I want to see nice, beautiful turns, nice pole plant. No, just like, stop right <laughs> Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Get some Nordic skiing in. You can do it. Dig deep. Skate. Dude, that was awesome. 857. No way. We made it before nine? Yeah. Dude, with three minutes to spare. Despite Holy shit. Late, we still made it before nine. Made up for lost time. Dude. Dude, nice work. I need to drive cruise control home. I <laughs> <laughs> with my foot on the gas. Well, it's like addicting because it's like still snow. I'm like, oh, we can't leave. I know. Someone else is going to ski it. I know. <laughs> you got to get it before. Some, yeah, some, someone's got to ski all this snow. <laughs> My camera died at the top of our last third run. So this is me ending the video, signing off. I hope it was at least entertaining, if not somewhat informal. East Coast ski scene, gotta take what we can get. One of my goals this year is to make more of these just for fun. I do a lot of video work that is a lot more cinematic and takes a lot more time and effort than these but um, if you're interested in anything in particular or would like to see a video about a certain place a certain activity let me know and we'll see if we can fit it into the schedule anyway thanks for watching and see you later <laughs>